What are regular dense vector embeddings missing? If we have a bunch of documents related to the National Football League, for example, the acronym NFL is going to appear a lot and not be as relatively important to the document. Regular vector embedding models will assign this term a high importance within the document, regardless of how often it appears in our entire corpus. Older methods like IDF or inverse document frequency for keyword search account for word frequency within the full dataset in their methodology. So how do we give embeddings from our individual document or chunk the context of the surrounding dataset? These researchers from Cornell University introduced a vector embedding method that is aware of its surrounding context in other documents. A normal vector embedding is a function, normally a deep neural network, that takes a single document or query and embeds it into a vector space. These functions are represented in this paper by phi and psi. In this paper, they propose to let the embedding function for the documents in query depend not only on the query or document, but also all the other documents in the dataset. The full dataset of documents is big D in this equation. But how exactly do you create an embedding function that's aware of its surroundings? Their first proposal is to augment the training objective of typical embedding models by adversarial contrastive learning. Using a pre-trained embedding model, they cluster documents to represent different contextual domains so that during training, the model learns to embed whilst accounting for similar surrounding context. The authors also propose to modify the embedding function itself, calling this method contextual document embeddings. Instead of being dependent on only a document, it has two arguments, the document with token level representations and some pre-calculated embeddings of all the other documents in the dataset or M1. During training, this function M2 is learned using both pieces of information, allowing the document embeddings to have the context of the full dataset. With this, we can have an embedding function that varies based on the domain we're using it for without any fine tuning or extra training needed from the user. The authors found that using both of their proposed methods, the batching and the embedding function, gives a better retrieval score overall. Also, the model beats out all of the other smaller models with fewer than 250 million parameters with better retrieval scores across a range of data Sense. And finally, as of this video, it is still the best performing model for small models on MTEB. You can try it out yourself here with this notebook. It will take you through generating your own embeddings, either within the context of your dataset or just using the model as is and doing vector search on them too. Overall, I think this model might be really interesting in dataset applications with very specialized domains, like the sports article example in the beginning or legal or medical domains. I'm super interested to see more research done on this. All the resources are linked in the description.